All right, folks, welcome to Arduino for Beginners. This is Arduino 101. All right, today I have a couple of red-green diodes. Now, this little guy here has both a red and green light inside it. That yellow color is produced when they both light up at once, and that's done through the code we're running through our Arduino right now. So in order to hook this guy up, you have a negative, which is your ground, a green, and a red. They're labeled GR and each one controls a light with the negative going back to ground as it should. So in our case, we're gonna wire that negative to the ground on the Arduino directly. Then we are going to wire both the red and the green to our breadboard. Now, the red is going into number six on the Arduino, but first it's passing through a 2.2K ohm resistor. The green can be plugged directly into the Five port on the Arduino, but I recommend running that through a 220 ohm resistor. Uh, it does work, as you can see, plugged directly in, and it is a little bit brighter. Well, it was working. It doesn't seem to want to now. I think uh, that's one of the reasons... better off with the resistor. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I have these wired backwards, by the way. There we go. So it does work without the resistor. Um, I just prefer to have the resistor in there. Either way, though, let's take a run through the code. Pretty basic. We're going to grab two uh, pins we're going to define, and these are six and five, um, because that's what we have it plugged into. And we are going to set those pin modes to output so we can send high and low and turn the lights on and off. And then we are going to go into our void loop, which is going to have a series of digital writes um, turning the, this one turns the red on and the green off. This one turns the red off and the green on. And then this one turns them both on. So, um, And that is so because in the previous iteration, green was already on, so it continues to stay on. Um, and then it turns off in the next one. So the loop just falls through itself, rotating through the three colors. You can take out this one here, and it'll just blink between red and green. And I can show you that real quick. Uh, just upload real quick, and there we go, red and green on and off. So. What this is good for is to use as like a power indicator for whether or not a device is turned on or turned off if the device is plugged in or has a stable power source. The red LED uses very, very little amount of energy, so it can stay on without drawing the battery uh, too much. So this is a pretty simple setup. There are several other ways you can do this and several other things you can do with this. In fact, if I wanted to just skip and let's try doing this. Let's see here. I'm going to comment this out real quick. And I'm going to copy this. And then going to copy this and change these to low and what we should get is a flashing warning yellow indicator light so let's try that real quick lol what am I doing just lolling around over here there we go so we'll push real quick and let's see if we get that blinking yellow there it is uh, hazard light, low battery warning, something like that. Uh, so tons of applications for this. Definitely recommend you pick some of these up. You can buy them in bulk, but you can also buy them in kits with the other sensors. And you can also get a giant Arduino pack for everything that has a couple of boards and some breadboards, some circuits, stuff like that, or not circuits, PCB boards you can make your own circuits with and things like that. So you'll find those links down below. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Let's move on to the next sensor. 
Well, that's it guys. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.